Welcome back to Latin Nation. I'm your host, Humberto Guida. Now, many biopics, especially those about sports heroes, follow their subjects well into the prime of adulthood. But the film Pelé, Birth of a Legend, abandons that trend, stopping while the soccer player who would go on to become a legend is still a teenager. That's because Pelé was a very accomplished teenager. We're talking about a dude who won the World Cup at 17. What were you doing at 17? Now, up ahead, we have one of the actors who is also the film's soccer choreographer for the film. Yes, they have those. His name is Seth Michaels, and he's about to score a goal right here on Latin Nation. Hi, my name is Seth Michaels. I'm an actor, and I have a film coming out on May 13, Pelé, Birth of a Legend. Now is the time for Pelé. I don't know if we will win, but we will show them a beautiful game. Well, the movie's based on pretty much the life of Pele himself. Uh, you know, there's so many stages about his life, but it starts when he was a kid, where he comes from, uh, Las Favelas from Sao Paulo, you know, poverty, into his first World Cup as a 17-year-old soccer player, which was 1958. He's only 15. He's never even left Bauru. And how it doesn't matter who you are, where you come from, if you have that love and that passion, and that ethic to really work hard for something you believe in, it can be it can be achievable. It can be, you know, something that you can grasp and taste and feel and accomplish. Jinga style might have worked for you back in Santos, but it will never hold up at an international level. Well, I was I first came on the film as a choreographer because I'm an ex-professional soccer player, so they want me to show up and you know and work with the with the players and, and, and the actors and the choreography for the soccer stuff. And when I met with the directors, they still hadn't cast one character named Mario Zagallo, who also based on a true character. And uh, they asked me, and I said absolutely. I think the key to having something that looks great is having real players or people who can play really good. You know, that, that's the key to any type of, I mean, you talk to any athlete, you know, you talk to any person who does choreography, whether it's basketball or football or baseball or soccer, you know, it, it takes really good players to have great things come on, you know, on the screen. Um, if you don't have that, it's very hard to cheat it. There's this one play when, when Pele's playing for Santos uh, where he's going against all these guys and he's doing tricks and he's going through guys, you know, like cones. And then he picks up, he stops and he picks up the ball and, and then three guys got to come and, you know, guard him, you know, defend him. But they're like, that would never happen in a game, right? It would never happen. But when he does the play, it makes no difference because it's such a beautiful play. That was a critical time for our country. Ever since we lost the Cup in 50, we've become a shame. You know, I would find myself uh, in Brazil, of all places. You know, I had never been there. But I, was fi I, I would find myself just standing there in the middle of a field. You know, we're about to shoot a, a, a scene from a, from a World Cup final in 1958, you know, about the life of Pele. I'm like, you know, I would cry. <laughs> you know, like nobody was around. I'd be like, you know, like tears. I'm like, wow, it was. It was a dream come true to, to be a part of a, of a film and, and the life of Pelé.